with Starfield being literally delayed till next year and was supposed to come out later this year, everyone's talking about it and a lot of people are concerned about it and talking about a lot of concerns or cons that they are worried about this game but i wanted to give some pros that this could actually lead to and a lot of pros that a lot of people aren't talking about now if you're new to my channel just heads up i do review games on game pass and older games and newer games that come out so if you're interested in joining me come along with me my next review is actually going to be kotor knights of the old republic but as a fan of a lot of Bethesda games and as a user of Game Pass, Starfield is definitely on my radar. And with it being pushed back, it definitely caught my attention. Now, if you're into the modding community of a lot of Bethesda games, you know there's a lot of cut content. And this is one of the main pros I could see coming from this big delay is a lot of that cut content might not end up getting cut anymore. And that's good for a lot of console players because it wasn't very easy to get a hold of that cut content if you were on console. On PC, it was significantly easier and with Nexus mods and stuff like that, but consoles that were kind of left in the dust. Now, a lot of that cut content ends up being to meet deadlines. And with that being pushed, I imagine a lot of that cut content will make it into the final game. Now, will there still be cut content? Of course, there's always some sort of cut content but i bet there will be significantly less or i at least hope so now one of the biggest leaks that came out recently was apparently the flying wasn't the best uh, according to the leaker himself who was a developer on the game now he said that was his personal opinion but he still thinks that it could have been better so hopefully with that push that means the flying mechanic actually gets a lot better and just the fact that it sounds like there might be some sort of no man's sky flying mechanic actually does pique my interest about this game and one only other pro that i would majorly be considering is that there will be significantly less bugs but does the games are known for launching games with a lot of bugs and hopefully with this pushback that means they're able to polish the game a lot more especially with microsoft being behind the wheel i could imagine that was probably the bigger concern from microsoft was making sure that there's less bugs in this game and making sure that it's a more polished well-rounded game because a lot of developers apparently around e3 were concerned that their game was going to be the next cyberpunk with how many bugs that could possibly be from this game because this game is supposedly huge now there's no details and maybe we'll get details later this year but this game is supposed to be like the biggest bethesda game ever today and that's pretty big because bethesda games are already pretty big games now am i saying that there shouldn't be any sort of concern no there you should be a little bit concerned that this game was con delayed but again we will see the game and hopefully it meets everyone's expectations but thanks for letting me play devil's advocate and hopefully you'll join me for future highlights clips maybe reviews down the road and i'll see you next time bye